glad to see um, mm. Shah Rukh Khan is back and hanging. It's scary. Man. How's it hanging? Great. A little to the left. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our TV Directs. This is Corbin. I'm Alexis. I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you to everybody who supports us on Patreon. Follow us on official Twitter account, subscribe, and like button. Is that how liberal you are? What? Even your penis hangs to the left? No, I'm a straight shooter, bro. Here we go. Uh, today. <laughs> Sorry, Lexi, it's your father. Uh, so <laughs> he knows I have a penis. That's how she got into the world. What? If it wasn't for my penis, Alexis wouldn't be sitting here today. It's a fun conversation. <laughs> uh, so this is actually from a... Uh, oh, yay! A podcast kind of thing. It's a little segment from a podcast. So it's, why podcast. do we need lip sync songs in Bollywood? And this is actually Karen Johar, I believe, talking about why they have lip syncing. Because uh, a lot of the actors can't sing their way out of a wet paper bag. Tell that to Shah Rukh Khan. Oh, wait, no, he can't. Uh, <laughs> Big B can, though. He's a good singer. Yeah, a Big Ushman, B can sing. A Ushman. Yep. Uh, 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 Farhan. Farhan is a good can. singer. Priyanka can sing. Priyanka can sing. I'm sure most of the women can probably sing pretty well. How come more women can sing well than men? Why do you think that is? Just it's they, just that they do. They do? What? It's not deemed... What do you mean by that? They just Feminine. do. They're more willing. Women are more willing to try different things than guys because guys have a particular. Uh, mm. they, they, how many people tend to step out to lead if it comes to being asked to volunteer I in also worship feel teams? Like or a lot of guys like don't realize they can actually sing. That's the point. I mean, example: you, all three of you, can sing. Who was the last to actually open up and do it? Micah, the boy. Yes. And he can sing very well. Very well. Maybe if you didn't create such a toxic environment. Yeah, right? that's true. God. Here we go. Oh, nope. Maybe it was all the penis talk that Probably. made him not want to sing. Probably. Everyone, I have a new podcast on Spotify called All About Movies with Anupama. But Shukri. movies. Do you, do you recognize her? I don't think so. I don't think you've seen her. She's she's a wonderful interviewer. Yeah, and interviewer. Just all things entertainment and very art. Very rarely do we see lip sync love songs anymore. Is this also one of the reasons we can't do love stories? Because directors now are just uncomfortable with lip sync. No, oh, it's sad. That is sad. That was sad. Thank Why you. Is it, it just does uh, that a lot for some reason. Like I'm seeing this on the right four days before I go to Kashmir to shoot a lip sync song in the Good snow. Good for you. I'm very uh, happy. Yeah, so, <laughs> is it for I, so Alia and Ranveer? I, I was like, I'm going probably. back to being like the person I think I was initially, uh, which which was doing like when I made those movies and those moments like I wasn't calculating anything it was just like coming to me naturally so there is a situation in this film and I'm like I met Ranveer and Alia just before um, you know um, the, before like I, I went on my prep uh, to Kashmir and I was like uh, okay so I'm gonna you're gonna be in saris so she was like okay it's it's in the snow so I said, yes, but now I've made the situation such where it's, it's not lifetime. There is a kind of a treatment of imagination. But I said, so you are going to be lip syncing a love song in the snow. There will be a bonfire. Classic 90s. Beautiful Karen Johar. landscape because Kashmir is gorgeous. And you will be in polo necks, I told him, and you will be in saris. And I want to do this song. And I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I want to do this song. I'm really excited about this song. And I know nothing has excited me more than doing this love song in Kashmir. That's not and surprising. You know, when I saw the romantics, ironically, right after I'd already made this big decision of mine, and everybody was like, do you want to root it in reality? Like, let's do it a little bit like 500 days of summer and let there be like whatever. I said, no, no. I want a love song that Yash Chopra would love. Mm. Yeah. I that song. And I think that I is wait, the first man. for that song today. When you have good actors who look good lip syncing that song, I think it's going to create magic. I don't Whether it does or not, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm like, I'm doing this. I'm doing it because I'm like, we stopped doing this. This is what our cinema was. So I'm like, I have six lip sync songs in my film. They're awesome. all awesome singing and dancing. Great. And I'm quite happy with it because I'm like, this is what I want to do. Six and I songs. feel like, why are we running away? Because the syntax you have to catch right at the beginning of the sort the of the film, as we say. If you catch that, so you can do it. So yes, there are directors who are uncomfortable. Everyone around me, like nobody does lip sync songs anymore because it's not the sore of the film and you have to be. But I'm like, yeah, have some fun if you want it. Take one. 
why are you apologizing about what made us the cinema we are um, i'm like what the hell is wrong with it i mean like you know yes characters who are speaking in a real tone or the rest of the film suddenly can't break into song so you have to get <laughs> to sur so whether it's i think both these i do that in real life out, have got that sur where you can get away with lip sync songs because that's the film you're going for right uh and i'm like if you are going to be apologetic about it it's going to be at court so i'm as i said you've asked me a very relevant question at a very relevant time of my life and i'm like i actually told both of them i sent them a list of 12 songs on a this whatsapp this is to ranveer so and alia so we have a chat called rocky or rani very original um, <laughs> it's just easier to communicate so i sent them these are the 12 songs i want you to see like i just What want you to see can it. you share of course there's there's so many of them i mean there's tumi dekho na from kabhi alvida there is also chandni is there tere mere auto mein hai um and, and many such there's of course dekha hai khwab and i was like just watch them lip sync just watch them lip sync these songs and i'm like of course you'll do it your way alia bhat will do it her way and we sing will do it his way i'm like i'm not asking you to emulate or copy anyone just feel their love because they just sang it with so much love even kabhi kabhi like all mm-hmm. these songs are on that list so i'm these are from top of my head i've, I've given a list of 12 i know but i'm like just see and a lot of them are mr bachchan a lot of them are sharukh khan and a lot of them are yash <laughs> chopra so i'm like there's no guesses about like anyone and i'm like just see so actually ranveer asked me for this list because he does massive prep alia goes with her gut on things but i said just watch this is your only prep for the song because your prep is to watch these 12 mm-hmm. songs you will you come and you just swallow it all in and i'm telling you you will be magical because those were magical moments and you can't take that away interesting when did they stop doing that <clears throat> look at he's cuz i i'm assuming he's talking about people more do the song over like stuff happening as opposed to right or they singing. have just one item number just one item number with an one person who does the dance and the number it's not the stars of the movie doing the songs gotcha so I, that's that's definitely a change like, that's happened wasn't brahmastra they had alia and and renbeer singing did it there were a couple Uh, no, yeah, there were a couple of songs. Uh, uh, but also he was producing that, so I don't know. Um but it's not see that's not the trend is what he's talking is about. Is he talking about the trend is more the song is happening but they're not full on. Exactly. It's you. it's it's more of a montage <clears throat> now yeah. than the old school in that sp- six in that, straight up I'm trying to musical think of numbers. More recent romance films that have come out and mm. there's not a ton, but the Telugu one about um she was like this royal person and you, you didn't like it very much but it was it was telugu it was it, it was, was a, a period piece it was yeah kind of period oh yeah i remember uh there's telugu so obviously a different industry but did they have i'm trying to i'm trying to remember i don't recall i th- i don't recall i couldn't tell you anyways but but yeah i mean i'm super excited about they're having uh, ali and ranbir and he uh coming out this year um That's a, and I think it's end of July. I think is when it comes out. Oh, that's out. soon. And it's Ali and Ranbir's first film together since Gully Boy. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Wow. And it's a, it's yeah. a full-on romance. So it's and it's Kieran Johar in the nineties. He's 90s. a Bollywood he is, lover. He is. Wow, I'm very excited. It's going to be cheesy. It's going to be over the top. Yeah. It's going to be ridiculous. But he usually has such heart in his films. Of like mm. you kind of like he does a lot with Shahrukh Khan in the nineties and and so I don't know if you've seen a lot of those. Have you seen a lot of those? Actually, Have you seen no. the Shahrukh Khan film? I Swadesh? You see Shahrukh Swadesh at all? Don't no, think so. No, I don't think she has seen that. I don't think she has seen DDLJ. Nope. You didn't see My Name Is Khan. Nope. No. So, no. We'll get get you caught Brahmastra? up on this thing. Brahmastra? You guys watched Brahmastra? Oh yeah, he yeah. was in the beginning. What is that one? Didn't you see Brahmastra with us when the we went? The name rings a bell. It's the it's it was last year. It was huge. and it was a lot of it's ran ran beer kapoor plays alia. a dj and he uh falls for alia but it's very marvel i thought you took very him very marvel i thought like you took I've... him to the theater yeah i thought so too i feel like i have seen this um but he's in the beginning of but that. i he's okay i'm a huge fan of lip syncing both as an art form and also it's something i've done did you do that in theater class yeah, yeah. i thought so yeah that's something i do uh in acting training actually i don't know anybody else who does this cuz i feel it's a really good first step toward becoming a character mm. is lip syncing and how many times have we noted 
the skill, especially when an actor is having to lip sync classical music, yeah. Indian classical, and they have to yeah. match that. It's an art form mm -hmm. in and of itself. Yeah. So that's really interesting. I'm super excited about his film coming in. It was supposed to come out in March, but now it's coming out, I believe. And I'm um, as far as <laughs> Karan Johar <clears throat> films. I'm trying to think because I, 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 I've I, seen the man before. Oh, yeah. I don't think she's seen his film. And I, she, <clears throat> you may have watched an episode of Coffee with Karan. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm trying to think if there's any of his films that he produced or directed that you've seen. Did you see Dil de Hock Nadeau? That's not him. No, I know. He didn't produce. I know he didn't direct it. That's Zoya. But did he? I don't think he produced. He wasn't one of the producers on that. I mean, he could be, maybe, but I don't. Because it's feel very like much his kind of his kind of film. Yeah, anyway, so, uh, really interesting. I would love to. So once again, I was always. I would love to talk to the man because I think he's so love him. He has such knowledge of the Hindi film industry mm. uh, and love for it uh, and what he loves the quintessential when people think of Bollywood. Like if they aren't from India, and they think of Bollywood. They think big musical numbers, mm -hmm. beautiful. Um, colors everywhere, over the top. That's what, yep. that's his creme de la creme. <laughs> he loves it. Um, so, yeah, interesting as always. Very much looking forward to, I, I would love to see, because he has anthologies with Anurag, Zoya, him, and oh, I forget the other director, but we knew the other director. They has like three anthologies. One is um, Bombay Talkies, then there's Lust Stories. Lust Stories, right. And I remember that. Ghost Stories. And Ghost Stories. I remember wanting to see all of those. Yeah, I think we... I don't. Hopefully get to them soon. But anyways, let us know what his next film should be and what you think about this down below. Josh!